produced by certain types of fungi. Aflatoxin is a highly toxic poison that contaminates food. It is a hidden killer, invisible to the naked eye. Aflatoxin causes liver cancer, makes us weaker against other diseases, and stunts children's growth. In some cases, aflatoxin kills. Aflasafe is a natural product made from friendly fungi that reduces aflatoxin in maize, groundnuts, and sorghum. Aflasafe leaves no residues on the crop. The green color band along the bottom of the pack certifies that Aflasafe is non-hazardous. It has the highest World Health Organization rating for safety. When farmers apply Aflasafe to the plants correctly and at the right time, Aflasafe's friendly fungi occupies the growing food before the dangerous fungi can get a toehold. When combined with good agricultural practices, Aflasafe effectively prevents aflatoxin production during crop development, harvesting, and storage. The one specially tailored for Ghana is named Aflasafe GH02. Here are the do's and don'ts before, during, and after using Aflasafe. Plant seed of improved varieties recommended for your area. If in doubt, contact extension agents. Observe recommended planting times for your area and follow good agronomic practices. Before applying Aflasafe, weed your field, make your ridges, apply fertilizer and carry out other agronomic practices. This is to avoid stepping on the product after application. Measure the area of the field where Aflasafe will be applied. For all crops, apply Aflasafe at the rate of 4 kilos per acre which is 10 kilos per hectare. Ensure that the crop is at the right stage for applying Aflasafe. For maize, broadcast Aflasafe when the crop is waist high, which is two to three weeks before tassels appear, also known as flowering. For groundnuts, it is two weeks before flowers begin to appear. Side dress Aflasafe along the rows on the soil surface. For sorghum, broadcast Aflasafe two to three weeks before flowering, which is when the crop is between waist and shoulder high, depending on the variety. Toss the product as uniformly as possible, but don't worry if certain areas receive more Aflasafe than others. Once spores grow on Aflasafe, they will be carried to the crop by wind or insects. But the spores in the Aflasafe require moisture to grow, therefore, Apply Aflasafe immediately after rains, or when rains are expected, or when the soil is wet, or if possible, irrigate field after application. Ensure that Aflasafe stays on the soil surface. For Aflasafe to work, it must be above ground. Don't worry if ants carry the Aflasafe grains into their nests. They will bring back the grains on the soil surface after one to three days. This does not in any way compromise Aflasafe's quality or effectiveness. Aflasafe does not harm chickens, guinea fowls, birds or wildlife, which may sometimes pick up Aflasafe grains. It does not affect Aflasafe's effectiveness if only a few grains are picked up. A few days after application, a greenish growth should be visible on some or all of the grains if the soil or the environment has enough moisture. Finally, to get the best from Aflasafe, follow good harvest and post-harvest practices. Here are the precautions for applying Aflasafe. Follow the manufacturer's instructions. Do not apply together with fertilizers, insecticides or fungicides. Apply Aflasafe only when the possibility that it will drift to potentially sensitive areas is minimal. Such areas include residential areas, water bodies, known habitats for threatened or endangered species, and non-target crops. Do not eat, drink or smoke while handling Aflasafe. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water after use and before eating, smoking or drinking. This is how to store and dispose of Aflasafe. Store Aflasafe in a dry place. Do not store under extreme conditions and do not expose to temperatures above 50 degrees Celsius. 
This is because AfraSafe contains living organisms that must be alive to work. Do not expose to relative humidity greater than 80% prior to use because the beneficial strains contained in AfraSafe would grow spores before application. If this happens, it could affect AfraSafe's effectiveness. For disposal, use all materials in the container applied according to instructions. If you still have leftovers, you may store within the original pack and place in an airtight container for later use. Make sure to use before the expiry date stated on the pack. However, if no longer needed, send the remaining AfraSafe to a waste disposal facility or pesticide disposal program. Such programs are run by state or local government or by industry. Do not reuse or refill AfraSafe containers. Send bags for recycling if available or dispose empty bags in a sanitary landfill or by incineration. For AfraSafe to work, you must observe good agronomic practices and fully follow all the instructions, particularly when to apply AfraSafe. Correct application at the correct time is a must. With these explanations, now you know that AfraSafe is easy to apply. Give it a try. Use AfraSafe for your maize, groundnuts, and sorghum. To order AfraSafe, contact Macrofertil, Head of Agri Department, Louis Trefus Commodities, Ghana. For more information, visit www.aflasafe.com.